All right, this is your course for section one. There is a two minute time cap on the course. There is seven obstacles on the course. Obstacle number one, the cheese doors. You need to make your way from one platform across the cheese doors to the other platform. You can't touch the ground. If you touch the ground, you miss this obstacle and you can't climb up and touch the bars at top. So only the red. Once you get to the next platform, you complete that point. The next obstacle starts on that platform. You need to get across the balance beam, only on top of the balance beam. If you touch the ground, you miss this obstacle. Once you get to the trampoline, you can touch the middle or the blue. You need to land in the black box from the trampoline. You get that second point. From there, you will go over to the green platform. You need to climb across the cargo net to the red platform. The rig is in play to get onto the cargo net. You're not allowed to grab the pipe at the top, only the net. Once you get to the red platform, you complete that obstacle. From there, you can come down to the next red platform. Now the PVC is in play, as well as hands on the bar. You can't use your feet on the bars. You need to make your way across to the other red platform. Once you get there, if you don't run your shoelace over, you get the point. Next obstacle, the devil steps. You need to start on the bottom step. You can use your feet on the frame to get up. No feet on the red steps, only on the frame itself. Once you get two hands on that step with the yellow tape, you complete that obstacle. Next obstacle is the flying squirrel. These uh, platforms will be here to assist you to get up to the flying squirrel. You need to land past the black tape mark to receive this point. Then you will make your way to the warped wall at light speed. Run up the warped wall and touch the easy button. All walls are in play to get up the warped wall. You may not use the ladder to get up. As soon as you hit the easy button, your course is complete and we will stop your time. Good luck, everyone. All right, this is section two course for camp race week. <laughs> um, <laughs> there is eight obstacles on this course. The time limit is two minutes. First obstacle starts up on that black platform that Coach Dylan is on. You have the rings only to swing across. Your feet can't touch the ground. Once you get to the red platform, you get the point. From there, you can't touch the ground. You need to use your parkour skills and stride across all of these platforms to this platform where you get the point for that completion. Then you can come off and start in the gray box. From here, you need to get into this gray box over here. You can't touch the ground. So what's in play is the wall and the bar up top. Once you land in the box, you get the point. From there, you have to go up to red. That's where your next one starts. Across red to the next red, across the black pipe beam, and you get your point on that platform. Next point, you need to jump across purple to the next platform for your next point. From here, you need to start on this platform and you need to end way over on the picnic area. Dylan will make his way there across the beam, across red, over the vault, to red, 
and up to the platform. You can't touch the ground anywhere in there. The floor is lava. Next obstacle starts on the platform. You need to go up the box, up the next box, and you get your point when you drop down to the red mat. Nice. Final obstacle starts on the red mat. You need to go over red, over red, over purple, and you finally finish over that purple. So you can't go around the beam or vaults. You have to go over top. Use some of the cool vaults that you've been learning this week. Uh, that is your course, eight obstacles, two minutes. Good luck, everyone. Section four course, also a time limit of two minutes. Again, there is seven obstacles on this course. Obstacle number one, you will start on this gray cylinder. Both balance obstacles are in play, the purple beam and the top of the slack line. You may not use the yellow. You need to make your way across to the black mat. Once you're there, you get that point and then you're gonna come up to this black platform. You're gonna start on this black platform only using the rings in front of Coach Dylan on the right side. These ones are out of play and the top uh, obstacle is out of play using the rings to get across. You receive the point when you get to the next black platform. So again, feet can't touch the ground. Next obstacle starts on that platform. It is the rope swing to rope climb. You need to swing across to the black rope and climb the black rope and get your hands, two hands past that blue tape. and you have a completion. Good, then you're just gonna walk across to this platform to the cylinder roll. Note that these trapeze bars are out of play. You're only using the green cylinder. You need to roll it. Until you get your body past this line here onto the next mats. Once you're completed that, you'll come back to here. We're gonna use the T-grips. Again, the trapeze bars are out of play. Only the T-grips and the bananas. Banana! Going from one platform, swinging across to the other platform. Again, no feet on the ground. When you get there, that is completion. You need to start here for the next one. From here, you can do the ninja steps and finish on that cylinder. If you have two feet on that cylinder, you've completed that obstacle. Final obstacle is the 10 foot warped wall. The ledges on the wall are in play. You need to get yourself up and pull yourself up on top of the wall. As soon as you have your whole body up there, you do a big flex, you have completed this course. Good job guys and good luck. Section five, the balance course. Again, eight obstacles, two minute time limit. Good luck everyone. You're gonna start right here in front of the beams. And the first obstacle, you get across the beams. You can't use the sides of the beams, only the tops. You need to go across the tops. And once you get to the first platform, you've completed that obstacle. Obstacle number two, against the wall balance. You are allowed to touch the wall, but you need to balance and get across from that platform to the next platform. Oh, oh. yeah, I did that on purpose. Oh, did you? <laughs> Careful, that middle beam is a little bit higher. Once you get to that platform, you've completed that point. Obstacle number three starts on this platform, ends on that platform. You just need to go across the beam. Obstacle number four is the PVC roll. You're going to roll from that platform and get your body on to the next platform. Clear, good. From there, you will go up to the platform. You can just walk over and stand up. 
Now this might be the hardest one on the course. You need to get all the way from that side to the other side on the slack line. Once you get there, that obstacle is complete. From there, you will go across or down the beam, across and across that beam to that step. You're not allowed to just jump across like he's thinking about. You need to go down, across, and then back to that platform. Nice, good save. All right, seventh obstacle is the teeter-totter balance. You need to go up, across, and down. You cannot come off of the platform when you land. Clear. Final obstacle is the pipe walk. You will need to navigate your way across the pipes and finish on that final black balance beam in a controlled manner. So you can't be wobbling, you need to have control and clear. Good. All right guys, that is your area five course. Good luck.